Happy Fool Happy Fool Hey everyone, it's your favorite girl, Sasha Laurel, and guess what? We are not in the Bahamas. We are in South Beach, Miami. Ooh, season 16, season 16. This is the first show. I can tell y'all who we are. You all gotta follow me, you see? Miami, Laurent. What are you saying, man? What's going on? How you doing? It's good to see you. Good to see you. I like Laurent that. Laurent has to have the, uh, what do we say, the record <laughs> for the most appearances on Happy Food. Definitely in the national. So this is our first international non bomber show, and we're so happy that he has invited us. So we can sit down and we can talk to him right now. All right, so you all heard me say it already. Laurent has been on this show from day one. Day one. Season one, I think. Kenny can show you all all the old footage. We did Robinson Road, we did We in Miami now. Hey. Laurent, that's, that, that is, uh, I told you from you first came here, we gotta come. Yes, I remember. And now we making it happen. Tell us a little bit about Seafood Shack Miami. Uh, one word, man, proud. Um, proud. Uh, I'll be honest with you, you know, you know me and you've been talking for years now. Mm -hmm. And I always talking what I want to do, what I trying to do, this mm -hmm. and that. And by the grace of God, I, the best thing I can say is this wasn't the plan. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole concept right now, even this wasn't supposed to happen for the next two years before we opened up one inside Miami. But I got my green card through my, my wife. Me and her have been together now nine years in February. Got my green card. So I came to America. We're just really trying to see the landscape. And then to be honest, this opportunity presented itself inside the Lincoln Eatery on South Beach. Mm -hmm. And uh, the landlord loved me. <laughs> Long story short, you know Bahamians, all we need is a shot. Yep. All we need all is we need is, opportunity. All we need is, is, is one shot to, 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 to do our chance, to, to do our thing. And then that's what it was. I met with the landlords, I met with the people that own the building. I said I could bring a concept here that's no unlike anything else on South Beach. They said feed us. If it's good, you're in. I fed them and they loved me. We worked out some numbers. And I've been here since, uh, I've been here now two years now. Now tell us, is it just like fried chicken peas and rice coals? What kind of food you serve in there? No, and that's my, that's the thing. If I had said we're doing Bahamian food uh -huh. or just Caribbean food, it kind of put me in a box mm -hmm. that I don't think a lot of people was prepared for because, you know, if it's, if, when you say Caribbean food, people think, oh, the, the, the oxtail, jerk chicken. Beans and rice, coleslaw. And some of the and things ain't even bohemian. Some, exactly, a lot of things ain't bohemian. And so like, and also too, a lot of the clientele in this area wasn't really gunning for that. You know what I'm saying? Because Caribbean food, once again, it puts you in a box. People think uh, a, a lower end of food, even though it's high end seafood. I don't understand how grouper could be considered a lower end food because right. it's in, you know, but so when we did this thing here, my goal was, the concept is Floribian. When I opened up Seafood Shack in Nassau, I brought my American influences to Nassau. Okay. Whether it was the, the, the chicken quesadillas everybody loved, or the, the how I switched up certain food to make it, like, like, like how I did the Johnny Cake Bowl one time. Oh uh, and just, I wanted That's to bring- still one of the best things <laughs> I've ever seen created. And, and it is, it's still amazing. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I wanted to, it's all about influence. When I came to Nassau to be different because Bahamian food is awesome. I can't compete with nobody's grandmother for the best peas and rice. Right, right. I can't compete with nobody's mother for really good baked chicken. You go right. home for that. Right. But if I say I could give you a jerk chicken empanada, you're only going to come to me. And that's not necessarily Jamaican. That's not necessarily, uh, let's say, Puerto Rican with the empanadas. Mm -hmm. And that's not even Bahamian either. But it's like fusion. I make it more familiar to the American market that I have here. A lot of people in this area know what an empanada is off rip. So like once they see it, they say jerk or they chicken, empanada, it's familiar, it's not scary. 
I'll try it out. Now that's a good segue because a lot of people want to know and some people, I didn't tell a lot of people about this show. Y'all seeing it now. But a lot of people want to know what's going, what's going on with Seafood Chuck and Nassau. I'll be honest. I'll be absolutely fully honest, fully transparent with you guys. This was not the plan. Like, right. This was not the plan. I came to Miami. To, we was really scoping where could we put a Seafood Chuck here. And we wanted to put it in a high traffic area. That way it could run itself. And then once it runs itself, I would be able to manage both Nassau and the Bahamas. What happened was we signed our lease at this position. Two weeks later, Corona shut down. The whole government shut down. We had to pay so much bills in the two months, three, two, three months of shutdown from insurances to inventory to staff to rent. And rent is new for us. We own all our locations in the Bahamas. Right, you right. see what I'm saying? And then I couldn't leave it like I wanted to because, you know, staff is low. You have, I can't have 10 to 20 staff members here. And, and still be able to pay all the bills. So when Corona, Corona mixed it all up. If you remember, we had the Wolfrow location. The right. Wolfrow location is no longer there. Right. My mother has Bonaventure Medical Lab there. I That's saw, a little I plug right that. there, Mom. Don't forget that. That's a Shout plug. Out to mom. Mom Shout out to Mom. Bonaventure Medical Lab on Wolf you. Road now. But no, this, it's all legacy. It's all family. It's all Bahamian. So like, I don't feel even bad about that because Wolf Road was an opportunity. I took advantage of it, and I was proud of the outcome. You know, same thing with uh, where we're at now. It was an opportunity that came about. I took advantage of it, and that's the outcome. Now that we've been here two years, Americans love Kunk. <laughs> Tourists love Kunk. Uh, our market is, it's, it, we're building a market here with the fish sandwiches, with the fried chicken, with the empanadas. I'm going to show you guys all of this stuff. And, you know, now it's really about fine-tuning this product converting this and then taking everything that we've done for the last 10 years and making it to a, a really big franchise option, not just for Nassau. I want the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. I want Anagua. I want Freeport. I want Abaco. I want Exuma. Y'all are the I want, first on I want it all. Eh? And the only way we're going to be able to do this is through teamwork. That's why we really wanted to do this show because we want to show Bahamians, hey, jump on board. You know what I'm saying? We want a franchise, we, but we need help. We need Right. people that want to invest into this business as and well the right people and we need the right people we need the right people that see what we're trying to do we're not trying to just say bahamian food we are part of the caribbean we are part of a culture and we're trying to show the rest of the world that we are part of this culture all right so Laurent, you know i like to say this is not a talking show it's not plenty show. talking it's an eating show mm -hmm. but before we go to our first break mm -hmm. Y'all know we love come Nassau, we love to come Miami, y'all love Walmart, y'all like a little <laughs> sawgrass mills and all that. I want y'all to come to Miami and visit Laurent, show him some support. Let people know, give us the Bahamian directions now. If you know we don't know, we can, we ain't Googling, Not we ain't asking Siri. Give us the Bahamian directions. He's located in the Lincoln Eatery. Give us the Bahamian directions to find you. Bahamian directions? Yeah, man. Pick up your phone <laughs> and Google Lincoln Eatery and go. I mean, you know, I mean, but Google honestly, Lincoln Eatery. It's right on South Beach, right on Lincoln and Meridian. It's not hard to find. We're actually right next door to the Lincoln Road Mall. So that's another big that's destination. That's all they need to, to have mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah a lot of Bahamians. We, we get a lot of Bahamians. We get a lot of island people that come through and they come and shop. Uh, there's an awesome Skyyard bar at the end of the night. So we got alcohol. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's really a segue. I, I feed a lot of the workers in the area, I feed a lot of the tourists. And to be honest with you, the food's good. Our reviews on Yelp have been a lot of five stars. It, it's been an awesome time. I will honestly be honest and say it's been a trying time. This has been new to us. Corona's been hard on us. Uh, all the stipulations that we've been facing have been totally different from what I expected. And it's not like NASA. I want everyone to understand that all my little young Bahamian entrepreneurs seem like I go to America, it's going to be easier. That is not the case. It is going that. to be times 10. If you thought people was a problem for you in the Bahamas, it's times 100. If you thought that was a problem in the Bahamas, it's times 10 over here. If you thought price point, inventory, uh, uh, fresh food is a problem in the Bahamas, if you're complaining about that, stay. Listen to me, I miss home, okay? I can't wait to get back home. I can't wait to do our thing. I can't wait to go to the Bahamas and, and, and turn up some more. Right now, I'm figuring this out and I'm doing my best. Thank you for your patience and I can't wait to see you all. All right, you all heard it from Laurent. He gave us plenty and too much information. Too much. That was plenty of <laughs> information. For Laurent, mm -hmm. tell them, stay tuned. You're watching what? Happy Foods 2 for 2. 
stay tuned more happy foods 242 after these messages all right so welcome back you're still watching happy foods 242 season 16 y'all first show and we in miami mm -hmm. and who we with laurent seafood truck miami laurent is just gonna take us through laurent you get all kind of things for us yeah man i gotta show you what we've been dealing with what we've been doing since i've been gone this one bad boy right here is one of the best things i've made and i've made a lot of stuff for you i love the show. name tell the people what the this name is, is the bpl it's a burger made with beef pork and lamb meat it's got a certain formula of how i do it and certain seasoning how we do it and i must say this bird is going to change the game in Nassau once we get this home. Remember I said that. Please, and nobody take it. <laughs> EPL, beef, EPL. It's pork, a and beef, pork, beef, pork, and, and lamb. lamb. I like that. No relation to the BPL back home because that <laughs> might not be as dependent as this, but that's okay. I do not miss that at all, but you will miss this burger, I promise you. Also right here, if y'all remember from previous episodes with me in it, same marinade. Now that exact smells spicy, you, now you, you remember, I don't, yeah. I know you don't do spice, but that's the beauty of it. We don't use it as spice, we use it as flavor. But I can smell it. No, there's a chemical in citrus called, I believe, y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments or whatnot, it's called probatin. Okay. It's, in, it's found inside lime, lemons, and oranges or whatnot. That tunes down the spice of the habaneros. I learned okay. that from Chef Sean Brazel at the meat market when I was working. Okay. So that chemical in the citrus actually tones down all the heat. That's why we could eat. You see people go to the, to the dock and, and squeeze that lime and rub right, that cum right. down and that goat pepper and there's nothing in it. Now, Laurent, one mm -hmm. thing I wanted to ask you, how difficult is it to source some of your ingredients um, being here? I know you do grouper, you do cum. Mm -hmm. that, that must be part of the challenge. Some very hard. Uh, Conk is incredibly hard. We have four supplies of conk over here in Miami. Two fresh, two frozen, and I'll be honest with you, none of them ever have it, and the price is so crazy. I believe conk right now is for $20 a pound. So anybody with relevance to let you know like what's going on with that, it's not, a, it's not an easy flip, and it's the reason why nobody really sells it like that over here, because Americans, and they may have conk as one small portion of the menu. I have conk on maybe six to eight different items on my menu. You see, so that being said, you get what you can and you flip what you can. So like, I get a lot of fish fillets over going to the dock, getting the okay. whole fish and breaking it down. Okay. I get a lot of, uh, I use a lot of fresh citrus, a lot of fresh uh, peppers, a lot of fresh uh, produce as much as I can, because that helps. Because at the end of the day, it's America. It's a bigger number game. And when you're dealing with these type of numbers, you have to be able to mass produce and, okay. and keep the flavor as is. But that's also why we have such an edge over here in Miami and why people have been saying the food is so good because we actually season the food. <laughs> we do. We put more than just salt on it. Everybody, it, and, and to be honest with you, I didn't understand that in the beginning. Before I was like, everybody, the food isn't good. Nobody yeah, seasons the food. The reason why is the bills are so high. If you as a chef in Miami could get a dish off with just salt, they're going to do it. Point blank. So it's not just flavor and whatnot. It's price points. So this is what? Snap, snapper? That's snapper and okay. that's some shrimp that we're going to put inside there. Okay. Everything goes on the same marinade. I'm about to flip my burger real fast. It's got a good crust on it. All right. Now how we do our burgers here is a little different than most people do their burgers, in which we do a broil burger. I don't, I, yes, I know you see this big grill right next to it, but we take our burgers on the flip, we put a stick of butter on top, and we put it up top to broil. As it broils, the burger sucks in the butter, giving oh, us more wow. flavor. Juicy. Juicy. It's going to pour all over your plate when you bite into it. All right. So all let's right. get working on a couple other of these couple dishes. A couple other things. All right. So now mm -hmm. then, over here, same old, same old. We have our snapper filet doused in our little marinade. I never could tell you the secrets to it, but it's okay. <laughs> it got me over here in Miami. Laurent <laughs> is probably the one of the first people who told us if he, if he had to tell us some of the ingredients, he would have to kill us. I so would. That's, where, that's why you all hear me say that a lot. Yeah, I'd have to kill you. I would. All right, so, but this is different. We have a wet batter now. Our wet batter is a simple consistency of flowers, peppers, herbs, seasonings, uh, baking powder, or whatnot. It gives us a little bit more puff and gives us that crunchiness that we're looking for. 
So we dip it right in the wet bottle first, get it nice and coated. Then we dip it in our dry. So no e eggs in that bottle? No eggs in the bottle. Okay, that's different. Yeah, then it's cheaper. <laughs> All right, no eggs in the bottle. We drop our frying fish. All right, there's our burger, fully nice and broiled. Now, we flip her. As we flip it, now we add cheese to that, and then we toast some cheese on top. My cheeseburgers are real cheeseburgers. <laughs> you don't just do, you know. No slapping up. No slapping up is correct. And we let that toast on there. That's about done. As our snap is done, and then what we got? Fries, fried chicken. I could do the shrimp or whatnot. Now the buns for your burgers, mm -hmm. they are mostly, what, brioche? We or? use brioche buns. We have okay. three sets of bread here. We use brioche buns. Okay. Just because of the buttery flavor, it works well with what we sell. And then we use kaiser buns, which is perfect for our seafood burgers and fish sandwiches. So the triple S sandwich that we're making for you today will go on the kaiser bun. The BPL will go on the brioche bun. And the triple S is what? The triple S is uh, spicy snapper slaw. Spicy snapper slaw. So we put the boys can love that. Oh yeah. Spicy snapper. Spicy slaw. snapper and slaw. All right, cheese is melting up top there. That's that there. Now we already fried some empanadas earlier. But I'll show you guys some of them earlier. This right here, our empanadas. This right here is going to change the game in Nassau. I promise you. I promise you. Maybe even These after the this show. These the same ones that was stuffed with the cream cheese? Well, I've done all types of stuffings. Right now, today, I'm going to showcase my curry beef and cheese empanada and my doubles curry chickpea empanadas, which is similar to a Trinidadian doubles. Okay. But instead of putting in a roti, like how they do in Trinidad, ah, they put it in an empanada. And we sell it. So it's more familiar. So for our tourist crowd, people may not know what a, a doubles, right, you know, right. whatever. But if I say it's an empanada and I say it's vegan, it pops. Listen, Kenny, make sure I show them the footage from Wolf Road when we had the cream cheese. Oh my goodness. Right. Wow. And that's our BPL burger right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. We could we serve stuff like this. We wanna be different and we wanna be island style. Okay. So we serve stuff like no wait, wrong bun. I'm sorry. Serve with our plantains. A go plantain on. go oh it's served with plantain. Yeah. And, talk, and that's a good segue. Talk to us a little bit about the sides you serve here at, at Seafood Shop. It's all about, I want to be a different option on South Beach. So not just fries. Not just fries. If we can give you a salad, if we can give you a potato salad. I've had people get rice with burgers. Uh, we I get, love we, that you have the slaw on the burger. Yeah, oh, that's the triple S. That's the number one sound. Shout out to my sister. My sister always says, if you ever have anybody come here and ask us a good burger, sell them the triple S. And to be honest with you, we've been doing that and it works. <laughs> Uh, all the Kalmas. Shout out the whole Kalmas family. The whole family, Kalmas family, whole, everybody and home. And we got to shout out Mark from Bahamas Air. Mark is a big follower of the show. He wishes he could be at Mark. We ain't forget you. Enjoy this one. This one for you. This one for you. This one for you, Mark. All right, so this right here is going to be the BPL burger. I like to make my own sauces. Reason being, all the other sauces are already made. They're already somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? These are, these, this is mine. When you come to a restaurant, I don't like going to restaurants and the chef is a chef, but he's mixing up everybody else's sauces and saying he's the chef. You're not a chef, you're mixing up stuff. But that's just my two cents on that. Okay. We make a lot of our emulsifications from scratch. The, as much scratch as we can. So all of these are made from scratch? Basically. That's our Junkanoo sauce. And I, like I love name. this sauce because it reminds me of Junkanoo. It's a citrus, it's basically chef term. It's a blackened citrus aioli. But uh, familiarity to the Bahamas, it's got the spice, it's got the citrus, and it, that is the base of Floridian food to me. Sweet heat, because that's Nassau to me, sweet heat. It might be hot, you might be sweating, but you get a beer and you're on the beach. If I could put that into a flavor, that's my style of food. Sweet okay. heat is Floridian. So we do a junkanoo sauce, and it's basically blackening our marinade, the same marinade we use, um, some cilantro, some lemon, some lime, salt, garlic, all blended into this and it's awesome we serve this even with kung fritters we serve this with our coconut shrimp we serve this on some empanadas this is our guava ketchup we blend down guava shells sign up. Sign and mix up that. with some ketchup and i mean it goes well with everything i didn't everybody in here does ketchup there's no reason why i should do ketchup <laughs> everybody has ketchup in here if you need ketchup. it's like twenty thousand yeah. very emmanuel places exactly. in here. there's no so reason trust to you there and to do ketchup and then this right here oh i love this 
This is our green onion tartar sauce. We make this from scratch, okay. literally from the green onions. We blend it down with the relish, and then uh, it gets this nice little green color. It's different from just your basic, you know, if I wanted just basic sauce, I'd go to McDonald's. And this is not McDonald's, point blank. This is seafood try. This is our baby, and we love it, okay? So we'll put, and this sauce here is a new sauce that we just made, but we're getting great reviews on it, and it goes on the BPL. It's okay. a truffle garlic honey parmesan sauce. Wow. Truffle garlic honey, right. honey, that honey parmesan. Amazing. Truffle garlic honey parmesan. Honey parmesan. I like to top the bottom and the top. I was going to give this burger to the boys, but uh, they may not make may, it for this it, one. They may. <laughs> All right. We like to put our burger on first. Gives it a little bit of balance. All right. From there, I put scorched onions. These are called scorched onions, just like scorched conch. It's like ah. scorched conch without the conch. Just scorched onions. Like that. So that goes on there. All right. Gives it a little snuck. And it doesn't give it a lot of spice. It's just, it tastes just like pretty much a conch salad. We put pickles on top of that. Nice fresh pickles. And then we put some tomatoes. With that, not a lot. Boom, boom. And then we put some fresh spring mix. Boom, boom. And that right there. Season is 16, y'all, and still <laughs> no smell of vision. Just wanted to put that out there. Still no smell of vision. They get they like they have like these really nice cameras, but no smell of vision. Alright. So that right there is the BPL, our burger BPL. at Seafood Shack. No relation to the BPL. <laughs> <laughs> but no. That looks amazing. It's, it, it is. I must say, I don't brag too much about my food, but this, this thing right here is That's a different it. level. Okay. A di I'm going to put this one up front and we'll do the triple S. Okay. All right. All right, triple S wise, it's simple. It's one of those sandwiches that's very simple and works well because if you're a lot of people that love seafood in the area often know more familiar with and that's a hearty piece of snapper yeah I, I sell these sandwiches for you know high prices so i want to make sure if you eat a fish sandwich it's not i i want no comparison to a mcdonald's fish sandwich ever in life if i have to compare myself to a brick filet a card some old tartar sauce and a slice of cheese for eight bucks i'm losing i want okay. you to spend your money on a snapper and get something that, that, that somebody cared about making for you Okay. So, and my, all my staff, they do it the same way. Everyone does this the same way. So, this also too is another sauce that we make. We make our own hot sauce. I'm not buying that stuff no more. So, making our own hot sauce wise, this is our habanero hot sauce. It's habaneros, cayenne, two more peppers, I can't tell you, some salt and some vinegar. And then we let the peppers age and then we blend it down. And it is, it's, it, 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 it rebels anybody, really. One second, let me get a bowl for my friends. Candy those are just reveling because they know that this one is for them. Because all those spices, Leroy, I just call this now. Oh, it's not, it's not. I'm not, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I don't like spice. I'm not ashamed. I don't like the taste that leaves in my mouth. I don't want to feel the burn. So this is for them. This, this for is them. for them. Uh, we, start, we always season our fries over here with our mac and cheese seasoning. One, another seasoning we make from scratch. All the recipes are pretty mac much... Mac and cheese seasoning. Well, that's what we call it. Because it goes the same thing that goes on our fries, goes in our mac and cheese. All right? So keeping the sandwich as simple as possible, because, you know, it's all about units. Skin on and everything. We always put it down, meat side down, skin side up. I douse it with some uh, hot sauce right there. Douse. Douse it all over. Wow. All right. Get that fish nice and wet. And then we put it right on top of the bun, got out the hot sauce dripping, and then from there, we put some of our red Laurent, cabbage you know I was coming. <laughs> One thing about Laurent, he can make sure, he's going to make sure the boy's straight. The boy's straight today. If there's no one else Everybody's straight today. ever in Happy Foods history that can make sure the boy's straight, it's Laurent. The boy's he straight. can make sure he do something for them. And that and is I appreciate that. the triple S served with our guava ketchup. Fast, simple, Floridian takeout. I still have to taste the beef of that. <laughs> y'all, so, y'all heard Laurent. Y'all saw Laurent. Y'all gonna see more of Laurent. He's gonna do some more stuff, put some more things together, but y'all know what I like to say. It's not a talking show. 
Laurent has me very, very hungry. We came on our first flight out of Nassau. <laughs> we didn't have no breakfast like that, like that. Natural. It's time to eat. So y'all gonna see him put some more stuff together. And when we return, y'all will see me. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods all the way from, as my Grammy would have said, Niyama. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods. Two, four, two. I did that the wrong way. Two, four, two. Did you miss most of this week's show? Make sure to visit our YouTube channel to see everything from Happy Foods at Happy Foods Bahamas. watching happy foods 242 we are still in miami shout out sasha lapash she did my makeup y'all hit her up she on everything y'all could find we can put kenny let's put a social media down to the bottom so people could link her when they're in miami so y'all go to sasha first and then y'all come to laron afterwards okay mm -hmm. that's how we you know we're trying to keep all of this name in that's right so laron i i don't need what what's Let's start let's here. Start with the yeah, yeah right. let's start here. I wanted here. to offer some more desserts to the area. It's starting to melt a little bit. But this is our banana fosters and empanadas, in which I take bananas and saute it down with uh, sugar and actually Hennessy rum. And uh, we take it and Hennessy we... Hennessy rum? Yeah. And cinnamon and nutmeg and allspice. And we serve it with the ice cream, the caramel, and the sundae. So it's like a... We wanted to show, like, you know, Diversity in the pastries or whatnot. You know what I like about it? It's not overly sweet. Right. Like, you know, some desserts you get, like, they're really sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we saute down, make a nice caramel with the bananas, and then we flambe that, and then we it's put it on the side. Be a nice little breakfast. <laughs> maybe a fruit. <laughs> I mean, you have a little rum too, but maybe a fruit. You have to bring this back to Nassau. I'm bringing all this to Nassau. But I want the cream cheese. Yes, yes, yes. If you did stuff a little cream cheese, like right under the banana, right under boom. That was the one you had, I think, was the sweet potato with the cream cheese. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's I remember that was. one. This is amazing. We actually started that one here, too. But we, like, you know, with this, this whole concept now is trying out stuff, seeing what hits. This is one of the things that hits. The BPL hit. Everything I put out is what has hit while I've been over here in Miami. Okay, so let's mind. go from my right mm -hmm. to your left and then to right. the front. All right, so from your right, starting with this bad boy right here, we get a lot of vegan customers, we get a lot of island customers, we get a lot of people that they've been, we get a lot of carnival lovers, we get a lot of uh, people that are familiar. So once I said doubles, uh, however which way I could do it, they're gonna buy it. <laughs> so this concept right here is our doubles curry chickpea empanada, in which we make a doubles Basically similar to a Trinidadian dish called doubles, in which you take chickpeas, peppers, onions, thyme, curry powder, cumin, and we saute it down and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. We rest it on the side, then we stuff it inside the empanadas. We serve this with like a mango sweet chili sauce, just for a little diverse of flavor, because it does have a little heat in there. But if I you like, like if you like, like curry, uh -huh. if you're vegan, if you're looking for that snack, that's something that's gonna turn up, that's what we're here to give you. You do gluten-free as well? Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff here is gluten free with the fish and stuff like that because we offer grilled, we offer, uh, we offer blackening uh, fish as well. And you know, we're able to switch it up. Just tell us what you want and we got you. Okay, and this is the mango... Mango sweet chili sauce, once and, again. And you make this from scratch. Make all our sauces from scratch. It's, and this right here is four ingredients. Okay, Our mango yeah. sweet chili. Next one. This one here is our curry steak and cheese empanada in which we take steak, we shred it down, we saute it down with corn, peppers, onions. I want to taste the and then sauce. We, uh, that's our jungle sauce, we pair it with the jungle sauce. And it's basically an ode to a hot patty. If you ever loved hot patty before, you love this. But that's it has... Ah, oh, with cheese. Exactly, this has the little cheese on top. The sauce is amazing. It, it isn't spicy. Mm -hmm. You were right, I taste <laughs> more of the citrus. Exactly, I don't All right. This one here, this is my 
my baby right here. This is the VPL burger, a burger made with beef, pork, and lamb. And as long as it's been sitting out, I bet when you bite into this, it's, it's still juicy. You know what? I'm gonna, you gonna proper go for that bite it. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, proper go for this one. That's my, that's my girl right there. I, I love that burger. This is something that we're bringing to Nassau, and we're not just bringing we have just. Yeah, I told her to pick her, her, her dish. She didn't pick it yet. <laughs> so, but it ain't gonna be this one because I gonna like really go for the jugular. Mm -hmm, go for this it. This is the BBL. Yeah. Yes. Mm, I love it. <laughs> this is a good BPL. <laughs> this is the good one. This is the good BPL. This is the good BPL. And I love that you serve it with plantains. Oh yeah. Got to be different. Try to be different. I'm not here to do with these people today. I love that you do it with them. Yeah. You know what I'm let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, this right here is the Triple S, my big sister. Shout out to my sister Antonia. Uh, she always tells me, sell this sandwich no matter wherever you go. It's a burger with the red cabbage slaw, the fried snapper, the spicy hot sauce. And I mean, if you love a good fish sandwich, if you want something to eat with a beer, if you want something to eat with some juice, this right here, if you want something on, just something on the weekend you can't get throughout the week, the Triple S, it's, it, it, it's a satisfying meal. Point I ain't even gonna touch that. <laughs> I ain't even gonna touch that. Hen. And it's served with the mm. mac and cheese seasoned fries. Mac and cheese. Well, we use the same season for the mac and cheese, but the mac and cheese seasoning, uh, I'm not scared to show that one. And the guava. Guava ketchup. Guava ketchup. We do not serve regular ketchup here. I don't put just salt on anything. I like to season stuff. I like to I like to make stuff taste different. I don't want you to leave here satisfied. Like I could get it, I could get it from somewhere else. I want you to leave here satisfied. I got to go back there for that. That's my that was my goal in every recipe. And I hope it's in every bite as well. And last, but and lastly, by no means least. No means least, the chicken and coconut waffle. I had to do a chicken and coconut waffle. Was this waffle. The, like one of the first things on the seafood track menu? This one, yeah. Honestly, because I didn't expect like us to get as such much great reviews on the fried chicken as we've been getting, but mm. we're starting to get the title for best fried chicken on South Beach. I didn't say Miami, people. I did not say Miami. I said South Beach. There's nobody on this beach that has what we have as far as fried chicken. So if you love fried chicken, you're on the beach, you're going to the water or whatever, you need something for friends, please hit me up and put me to the test. If somebody's better than us, bring the chicken, I'll buy it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not scared. Uh, we have some of the best fried chicken on South Beach. And this paired up with the coconut waffle has gotten us really, really good reviews. I put coconut in the waffle batter and then we toast it down. So it's got coconut flowing all through it. It's sweet. Some people love to put hot sauce with it. Our fried chicken, we have it in three different variations on the menu. Please, the chicken, if you love chicken, I promise you, we got the best fried chicken on South Beach. Now, do you do different kind of waffles, or that's just the Well, we do a coconut thing? waffle, we do a regular waffle, we do a pecan waffle now. And the pecan, pecan waffle is my personal favorite, but the coconut waffle is the top seller, easily. Coconut waffle. Oh, I can't, I gotta put this in the camera. I gotta put this in the camera. Oh, yeah. This I right have. here, these two are our new drinks. We do sugar honey iced tea. Yes, I said that, sugar honey iced tea. I mean, it literally is sugar, sugar honey, honey iced tea. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sugar just it, it's sugar honey iced tea. Yeah, okay. don't say nothing else. Don't say nothing else. Oh, no, don't, don't say, say nothing. And no, that no. one is what? This is our top seller pineapple lemonade. This was something before I opened Seafood Shack. I said to myself like, I was working at a kitchen in another job, and I used to make this for the cooks every day. I would make this for everybody to the point they were actually gonna make it when I came to came to work. Like where's that pineapple drink that you make? So when it came here, it was a natural quick thing for me. Pineapple lemonade, uh, easy. Pineapples, lemons, sugar, water. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's beautiful and we get great reviews on but it But you gotta well. come to Seafood Track Miami and get it. Don't make it. No. Even though we gave you the ingredients. Come to Seafood Track. Well, I didn't tell you what type of pineapple to use. We don't uh, use a certain, we don't use certain juices. Okay. We don't use, and there's a certain way we do it. So I, I may give you ingredients, but I'm not gonna give you the procedure. As <laughs> usual, you have. You always outdo yourself. Hey. Always from Robinson Road, Wolf Road, now we are in Miami. You've always served us. I appreciate y'all coming. And he treats us really well. I mean, there's nothing better than a Bahamian being successful, and that's what we aim to do on the show. Just show Bahamians being successful, support Bahamians being successful. Hmm. Laurent, before we go, tell them again, give them the Bahamian directions. Y'all always in Miami. <laughs> the flight we was on was full, not even <laughs> ahead of time. And we like, 
technically it's Christmas, but when the show comes on, it won't be Christmas. But you all like to travel and you all love to come to Miami. When you all come to Miami, please, I told you all, go to Sasha first, mm -hmm. catch a little, and then come to Laurent after. Laurent, tell them how they can find you. All right, just look up the Lincoln Eatery or look up Lincoln Road Mall. We're on Lincoln and Meridian. Uh, it's, it's The address is 723. No, uh, uh, let me make sure I get this right because uh, uh, I can't get no phone calls. I think I know it too. 723 North Lincoln, North Lincoln Lane, uh -huh. Miami Beach, Florida, uh, zip code 33139. So or check out the Lincoln yeah. Eatery. Cool. We have fun. events happening in the eatery all month long. There's a lot of parties happening. To be honest, if somebody wants to throw a party here through Seafood Track, we've done that before as well. So please hit me, hit us up. And do not hit up the Seafood Track Miami Instagram. Please hit up the Seafood Track uh, Instagram based in Nassau. The Seafood Track Miami Instagram is no longer accessible. It got hacked, la la la. But um, Give us a number too, just in case people want. You know Bahamian, yeah. I, I, I can just call a number. 786 203 7020. That's actually my number. Okay. So call that, that's going to reach me directly. So please, for any information regarding the seafood chat, yeah, man, viewing. come through. I do do a Bahamian discount. I don't tell everybody that, but we do do a Bahamian discount. Just on the side. See, I'm ashamed to be giving you all the happy food. Come to say how it go and everything straight. You I got don't need you, to right? start paying us. <laughs> I've given you all so much information. Listen, Laurent, we mm -hmm. wish you all the best. Thank we can you. wait for Seafood Shack. Freeport. Nassau number two. Freeport. Freeport. Seafood Shack. Andres. Yep. Seafood Shack. Exuma. Speak it. Seafood yes. Shack. Inagua. Yes, all of it. Seafood Shack. No, New York. Yeah, yeah, Cali. Wherever yeah, it is, Atlanta, you going, everywhere. You know everywhere. we coming. I wonder. I we wonder coming. I appreciate y'all. Good morning, y'all. Yo, all this is season 16. We are so happy to be back. We are so happy to be in Miami with Laurent at Seafood Shop Miami. And you just, we, we got to do, 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 do Yeah, the we got to do that. Yeah, we got to do that. I didn't mess up the thing yeah. for two seasons. Don't, Let's yeah, go. you right. should be able to. Third got, time is the job. I got it, I got it. I've practiced You'll just watch you another exciting episode of Happy Foods. Two, four, two. Talking show, it's an eating show. Sasha Laurel is the host of Happy Foods. Two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Foods. Two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Foods. Two for two, food galore just for you.